Hello and welcome to the first hands-on video with the XR-15 Extended Reality Rifle. This is a virtual and mixed reality and whatever XR blanket terms you want to use controller that for this current version will link a Quest 3 controller over to a immersive game control interface. So the way that I came up, well, decided to start working on this was I wanted something that had the real feel, the real ergonomics of the real deal. And so matching form and function is what we've got here. So about 20 minutes ago, I finally got first time it would pew. I've got linkage from the trigger down here up to our trigger above there. There's no real break or reset or anything. With this setup, but the main concern that I had initially, aside from getting it to pew, was rigidity. And so part of that is because some of the earlier controller setups I'd worked on with this was working with a Cabela's Top Shot Elite. This was a PS3 controller and it really just, it's a wireless head interface, so it was real simple to get going. But if you see when I pull on this, there's a lot of flex, especially when the stock's all the way out on this. So when you're doing movement with this rifle, going to low ready, pulling up on targets, changing shoulders, driving that in, there was a lot of flex and really made it feel cheap. And it just, it throws you off when there's that movement that just shouldn't be there. So mass was of course, one of the best ways to be able to take care of that. But even with everything that's here, like see how there's this flex within it still? Now, part of that is because there's a little bit of play right up in here with the tolerance I have right now, and I've only got a few bolts running in the bottom here. So the next version that I'm going to start printing later tonight is going to take a fourth inch carriage bolt, and it's going to run through here, through this assembly, through this block, through here, over into the back there. And so it'll be mated snug inside here. Uh, both front and the back will be 100% infill. Uh, this all was about 30 right now, but I'm going to end up doing this with 70. And then once that's, and I'll probably just leave this at 30 because I'll be iterating on this section a lot as well. But I really want to solve without a doubt that I can get this up on the bench. I can run around with it. I can go like this. I don't want to see any movement. And until really I answer that rigidity issue, I'm not going to be working on any more of the functionality around here. Now, anybody that's familiar with VR and XR stuff, they'll know the ProTube. And that's really one of my main complaints with the ProTube, aside, well, aside from not having a rail up front that I can grab on or having here to grab on, is just there's not rigidity in the same sense here that I can pull and there's all that movement that's there. Uh, one of the other stocks, which not as common, but I, I've been talking to the guy online that designed it, super cool guy, but it took additional metal supporting on the Blobworks stock as well. And he's got a really cool software title out there, but and just by the design of it, of these small areas, that once you add the handguard onto anything, mine included at this point, you've got a lever that's up here. So it multiplies those forces, especially if you're out here grabbing real far out and pulling on that with force. Just it's impossible with this amount of mass to be able to have the amount of rigidity that I want. And so... That is how we have gotten to this point. So I'll be printing out another round of all these later on tonight, running some stuff through there, work on getting rigidity solved on that. Uh, as far as function updates for the XR pistol for anybody that's been following along with us. So I now have magazine state tracking. So if you'll watch this button right up here when I eject the magazine, mags out, button goes down, mag goes in, button comes up there. So we've got this right here that senses when the mags in or out. Still, at some point, I'll end up making the dummy mags, but easiest testing with real ones for now, because we'll list them to design. So this goes here. There's a spring underneath here that puts that force up. Connecting rod up here that runs to the back and then pivots on this. 
So that whole setup, mag goes out, this comes down, and right like that. So we still have from before our weapon light. Those are so satisfying to see. And then we've got our slot back here. I forget if it was in the last video, so you can have the same cable tie there to make sure no chance at all of that going anywhere. So I'm still working on iterating around getting the slide release and then slide rack after that on here. I just wanted to get some trigger time on this, make sure everything was feeling good instead of juggling a ton of things at the same time. So there's the updates. Uh, go ahead and jump on Discord if you want to follow along or join the conversation going on Reddit or leave some comments in the video. I hope you hear some feedback and thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a good one. Bye.